So Judd is the host. Yep. Hey guys. Hey Judd. What's up, dude? Who's that? Who's who's talking? So this is Jeremy Gilmore. Oh. Hey Jeremy. Hey, how's it going? Good man. Good. My partner Brian Moorhead is also on the call. My wife oh. Sandra Gilmore is on the call. Oh man. Yeah, we have quite a few people. Yeah. There's Kyle. Hey man. Yeah, you can share your video or not. It's all good. And we'll probably have people muted and just kind of run through some of these. And then maybe hopefully we'll have time afterwards. But we've got an hour. Wait for uh, six to roll around and 29 website submissions. So we're not going to get to them all, but we can get to some of them. Most of them. We'll see. How often do you do these webinars? Um, the goal is every two weeks we do a webinar. It didn't work out. There were some vacations uh, that Matt and I had. Okay. So I scheduled it. So it was kind of a break during the summer. But this is going to put us back on every two weeks is the goal. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, kind of one of our 2024 goals is just to build more community around Check Cherry. And we think this is a good way to do it. A nice part of it. There's Robert. Hey. Another question is, how do you do a picture? <laughs> Say that one more time. Can you hear me? How do you do a picture if you're not doing video? How do I do a picture? What do you mean? Like, how do the, like, there's 360 and picture us and, like, mine just says my name. Oh. Um, so I can't you know, find I one. No, that's a Zoom setting. I'm not quite sure. Uh, I can't find it. <laughs> Yeah, I can. You can start your video, or um, there's probably, I guess, you know, Kyle has one. Um, my guess is there's a setting if you go to Zoom. Maybe just Google Zoom profile picture or something like that. But I think it's edit profile picture it, up in the top, the three dots. Hit that, and then edit profile picture. Mine's for work, work. So I don't know how they do it. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get to choose. <laughs> I think you have to have a Zoom account as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, I do. This is my business account, so that's why I was wanted it for my clients. Got it. And there's Matt's here too. Okay, so Amir decided to join. Thanks, Matt. <laughs> hey, it's six. So I think we get started, right? So I'm Judd. I'm one of the co-founders. There's Matt. He's the other one. Uh, somebody was asking how often we do these. The goal is every two weeks. So over the summer. Um, there were some vacations, so it just didn't work out well for us. Um, we're thinking Tuesdays, 6 p.m. Um, there, occasionally, we might have a guest um, that can't do that time, so we'll do other times. We always send a recording if you register, um, so you don't have to join live. But if you do, it's kind of cool because then you can participate with us and all that stuff. Um, so I think that that's worthwhile. And this is a fun one for us because our background is in kind of web, <clears throat> web apps and all that stuff. And I think websites are really, really important uh, for businesses. Um, and there's probably some low hanging fruit on, you know, most uh, websites. Um, you know, the, the intent is um, to basically have a website that drives sales, right? Like that's really what it's about that the website is about driving sales. So that's our perspective. Uh, these are just opinions. You might have other people with differing opinions. Um, we're going to focus more on improvement. We'll probably say some nice things about websites, but in general, it's going to be like areas like, oh, maybe you could do this, you know, try that, um, that type of thing. And it's also fun just to kind of see what other businesses are up to. So I think you guys might get some value out of just kind of seeing what other people do. Um, ideally, we don't spend more than like five minutes per site. If, you know, if this goes well, we can do it again. Like I like doing this. <clears throat> um, and we don't intend to go through like the online booking uh, process, if that makes sense. Um, so the the idea would be that we just um, focus on the website and kind of getting somebody to become the next step in doing business with you, um, whatever those call to actions are. Um, and I think that that's kind of like the, the most helpful way to go about it. So 
Um, I've got the first website queued. I guess, does anybody have questions before I begin on that? Anyone chime in real quick before I share my screen and hop in some of these? Just a quick comment. This is Brian Moorhead with Trendy Snaps. Um, so just a heads up, I don't know if you're planning on reviewing ours or not, but we have not even really gone live yet. Cool. Uh, so we're, we're brand new. Awesome. And um, the way I think of websites and business in general is it's always a work in progress. There's a lot of things I don't like about Chuck Cherry's website. It's far past due for a refresh. Um, so none, none of this stuff is to be taken as like, person. it's all just like, hey, here's some ideas for improving. And I think ideally, even if your website doesn't get reviewed and you're on the call, um, you'll see common patterns, right? I think that's really going to happen um, because we'll focus on just like some really basic stuff, I think, and just I'll share some thoughts off the cuff of my head. I went through and looked at some of them. I didn't spend a lot of time. And I think that's also good because um, when people show up at a website, they're not, nobody wants to spend a lot of time, right? Researching it. We're all busy. It's just kind of like, let's just get it and get it going. Like they, everybody's like, what's in it for me type mentality, I think, and trying to get information and move on with their day by and large. So um, that's also, a, you know, I guess a pre-existing belief that I have. But let me share my screen here. So I've got the first one up, Matt, and Matt's going to kind of cue me up too here, but. Um... And worth uh, calling out, um, we did get two, probably, you know, more more submissions than we can go through in, in the time we have. So we'll just be kind of picking from, I think kind of giving some priority to, to those that submitted early, but, um, but yeah. Cool. Okay. So this is our first one. Um, let me close this up. So this is uh, Five Star Memories. And I think one of the first things I think of is like, okay, what do they do? Like, do I know what they do right away? Um, I think that's important. So always you want, and I, you know, um, they're leading with kind of a logo and, and a share the amazing ride, which is a, a, an emotional thing. I think that's fine. Premium photo boost in North Carolina. So like, I think that's good. And the upstate South Carolina. So I know um, it kind of has the area, what they do. I think this is good. Um, I like it. It's got a nice picture. The golden black feels very, you know, um, like event like or like kind of glamorous i like it um and so some areas that i think that i would be areas of improvement um i think like right off the bat like inquire is um not a good call to action uh text um, i'm a fan of like pricing or view packages or something up schedule a call like whatever it is they're going to do um and if i click it where does it take me um like not quite sure. So it's like, again, it's another common pattern I see is like, what do you want me to do here? You know what I mean? Is like, do you want me to use a calendar? It's lower. That's probably, you know, it's going to put them, but we've got an email, you know, um, social media icons, you know, ready to book and then a calendar. And like, I'm not reading that, right. I don't want to read that. And then a lead form. And uh, th I think there's, I would say that there's a lot going on here in that just focus on a happy path, like how you want them to go. So if that's inquire and that goes to the calendar, check your date, that's cool. Uh, maybe this could be on the contact page. Um, and um, I would, you know, if you're offering online booking, I think this is the check cherry widget, yeah. Um, I don't love the um, leading with the calendar. Um, we've added that to check cherry because we got so many requests and you guys wanted it. Um, I don't think most prospects are thinking of their dates availability. I think they're thinking about what do they offer, what's included, and how much can I afford it, basically, type situation. I think that's kind of like where people's mind goes first and not are you available. Um, I think the reason that people like to do the availability stuff is you want to seem more in demand, is my understanding, and talking with people. Um, and that might work. I mean, I get that. Like, hey, like we're, we book fast, like hop in here. Um, but I just feel like it's not as effective. Also, um, social media icons in the top right, like this is your most valuable real estate on your desktop version website. And I don't think you want to send people off to Instagram or Facebook where they're going to get lost and see a message from an old friend or pictures and that type of thing. Um, probably don't send them away from your website at this point, I would say. Put these in the footer. Um, and again, Inquire uh, is also used. Um, I thought it was also, Matt, what do you think we look at on the web or on uh, mobile? Probably worthwhile. Uh, uh, yeah. You know, and again, I think one of the benefits of putting like call to actions, like we, we lost, I guess, let me go to the homepage. <laughs> like, I like this, like there's the call to action. That's what you want me to do. And so I'm going to click that, you know, and again, it's like, there's just kind of, yeah. 
And I'd, I'd like to uh, just kind of call out the on their homepage, they have the, you, you mentioned it before, but the um, location is really important for things like SEO and and for people to know where you are, but also for, you know, the more automated crawlers to know where you're located. So. Yep. Okay. I'm going to move on. What do we got here next? Uh, actually, I got one more question for you, Judd. So if you scroll down on their homepage, what do you think of the, uh, um, toward the bottom, there's a uh, kind of a wedding guide called action. What do you think of that type of thing? Kind of like a lead magnet and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. We don't see it often on websites. I'll say that. I think this happens more on the DJ side. And um, I don't know that. Um, I think if you were a really um, high-end DJ or a high-end wedding, you know, or high-end whatever, potentially this could work better. Um, I don't know that I would fill that out personally um, because I can already get a lot of information, you know, um, online. I've already researched a lot. Um, it's possible this could work on like an ad. You might be able to get like cheaper ad spend. Um you know, like, hey, a wedding photo guide or something, you know, and target a certain area um, and then send people to that and get leads that way. But these would be leads that aren't necessarily, you don't know that they're going to be interested in your services. They're just interested in a guide. Um, so what do you think? Uh, yeah, no, I, I think uh, I think it's worth experimenting with things. And, you know, if, uh, if nobody clicks it, you know, definitely feel free to remove it. You know, you should always be uh, kind of evaluating what works and what doesn't. Um, but yeah. Like if we were going to do this on Check Cherry, I would, I would, I would probably put it behind uh, like ads, and I'd push ads to get lead emails. Yeah. And I'd probably retarget those. It's probably how that would go. And I'm Watch. going to okay, so I'll uh, click submit our next one. And so we've got uh, Snapjoy Booths is up next. All right, so it's... and we've got. Uh... Chats in there, by the way, Matt. I don't want to read them. Okay, so Snap Joy. So, a um, couple of thoughts. I actually like black with event service providers and the pink. This is good. It has a good feeling. Um, very clear call to action in the top right. Very clear call to action here. South Florida photo booth, like all that's great, right? All above the fold right away. Let's look at what it looks like on mobile. You know, very similar. Again, the call to action is right there. So there is a broken image there, I think. Pretty sure that that's what's happening there. So I'm going to argue it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't, but, you know, but it is it is above the fold, like, you know. Yep. Something to work in, but I'm just, yeah. I don't know that that's Easy like. Fix, that, but yeah. There's a lot of good things going on here. Yep, yep. No, I think this is a great website overall. Yeah. Um, and the, the, the you know, maybe I visited before, but the video loaded pretty fast. Um, check availability. Then there's some social. I, I well, you're in good company. Should be, I think, the other you are. If I'm, if oh I'm yeah, mistaken. you are. <laughs> yep. God. Now I'm bad at typos. Okay. <laughs> um, if you're interested in corporate business, I think this is a good idea. If that you know, if you can do this and tell people like, hey, like I've done business with large companies, like you're in good hands. Like I get that. Um, you know, all that stuff. Images. You know, I think all of our customers have it su such like a su way better option than what we have with great images. Like we're like CRM booking business management software. We don't have great images um, like they do. So that's all cool. A um, couple of thoughts that I, you know, when I, when I see this, it, that I don't love. Um, let me get out of here back to, I think the desktop is easier to see. Um, I think there's like check availability again. People like to lead with availability. Um, and again, I think that's given based on a sense of like urgency. Like, hey, we're not always available. Like let's book this, get your spot. And um, I think that that's, you know, I think it's fine. It's lower commitment. But I think viewing packages or pricing is going to be what everybody's going to click right away. If I click it, they go to the Check Cherry booking engine. Like, I love that. Um, but they're, again, using that check availability again. Um, and I'm not going to go into the booking engine next stop. But just, you there are you can use check availability. But I would also, like, different words might speak to different people. And they can all go to the same place. So view packages could totally go to the same place. Check availability, that type of thing. Um, yeah. In the nav, I like that there's not a lot of. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, very strong call to actions. I, I really yeah. like the call. Like, this is what you want me to do. This is what right. you want me to do. And then all, all the way down the page too, I think if I remember right, all the way toward the bottom, there's, you know, you you read, you read, you read, you learn more. And then at the bottom, um, you know, wherever you are, there's a call to action. So yeah. I think that's effective. And reviews are good and stuff like that. I don't know. I feel like, um, 
when you put your own reviews on the website, like it's kind of also like, of course, like if, to me, it carries less weight because of course you can cherry pick the three, five star reviews you got, mm -hmm. right? Like I, I want to see like the Google reviews, all of them to kind of see where it's at. Yeah, great images, lots of call to actions. I like it. Big headers, smaller paragraphs that I probably won't wait, read. Somebody might be reading that, but good for SEO. Yeah, so this is a good one overall. I mean, mm -hmm. I would and then I like their FAQs, um, you know, not high up, but if you're this far and you still have questions, right. uh, you know, hopefully like, like, what can I tell you to, uh, to, to get you to move to the next step? And maybe those are, you know, hopefully those are, are relevant and, and things to do that. And there's your, you know, so yeah, I mean, overall, I like this, um, and an address and, you know, phone email at the, at the footer. I think that's appropriate as opposed to in the header of the, uh, right. So much cleaner. You're not saying email me. You're not saying call me. You're saying check availability. That's what I want you to do. And so, yeah. Okay. Uh, a couple comments I missed uh, before. Um, these were actually on the previous website, but uh, Linisha uh, mentioned um, most people do ask for availability first before going through all the work of filling out a form or requesting a quote, at least in the wedding industry. Yeah. And... Well, but uh, fair enough. If I don't want to fill out a big, long, giant form, I just want to know if you're available. But if it's just view pricing and I can see your pricing and then check availability over there, like that's going to then, I think that that's going to be a better way. Hold on, let me mute this person. Hold on. Please hold. I have mute on the way in, um, but let me there. I think we're good. Okay. And? And then Robert um, had a comment. Um about the uh, the other thing it's to get prospective clients into your email sequence to provide your experience position yourself as an expert yeah. and that was referring to the uh the wedding guide and yeah I'd, I'd be interested just to see you know does it work does it not you know definitely worth worth experimenting with with different things and and if it works you know awesome mm -hmm. um so i posted um our next link in uh um in the chat um cinematicboots.com All right, so here we are. I've already got a pop-up coming over. So I don't love that. I mean, I just, right? Did I do something? I think I went, mm -hmm. oh yeah. So there's a there's a JavaScript library that like, if you go up, like you're leaving the website, you can pull in something. And so I think that's what's triggering that. See if I go up here, I'm gonna refresh, I'll only do it once. See if I like, if, it, if I move my mouse off the screen, it pulls that in. Um, I don't love that. Uh, personally, I, you know, but I, so I would stay away from that. I think your call to actions are better, um, you know, but right here, real clear call to action up top. I love that the uh, black and the gold again, there's a video. I kind of see what's going on. I'm in the right spot. Um, phone and book now. I don't know that I'd put the phone. If you want, like some people are prefer to have phone be the first, you know, um, point of contact. I mean, depending on your ideal client, like that's fine. I would just put the phone right here. What I would say uh, on a phone number, if you're able to pick up the phone and answer it, um, sure. Um, if you're not, you know, if it's going to go to a voicemail and people aren't going to get a response right away, um, I, I would stay away from it. But. Right. And I and, and the reason is because it's going to lead to disappointment in the slower sales cycle or slower, like they're not going to get what they want right away, which is we all want stuff right away. Book now is I think is probably the most common um, call to action text that we see. And I don't love it in that, I feel like it's um, it's almost like pay me, pay deposit, you know, type. It just feels a little bit too forward. Whereas um, I'm not ready to book now. I haven't seen the pricing or the packages or what's included or anything like that. Um, so, you know, I think pricing or view packages. Um, here they do have pricing. So I go to booth pricing. So this is cool. So like I'm interested. And there's reasons we've talked about whether you put pricing or not. You know, there's compelling reasons both sides. I'm a fan of putting pricing just because it weeds out bad leads or people that aren't serious. Um, but something I noticed right away here, though, is like, oops, I went to pricing and I go to classic. Like, where's the price? Right. Like, where's the price? I don't see the price. And then I'm getting 20 percent off somehow. So I don't like that. The overall design of the site is good. I think there's a lot of the kind of more. Mm -hmm. You know, and now here we get down to what might be the price I have starting at and I book online and I click that and that's going to tend them. So with check chair, you can also drop them. There's that pop up. I mean, that's this is why I don't like these things is because like if if you could if you were like could really target it, you know, um, but it seems like they always kind of come up. 
or maybe I'm just like wild with my mouse. But anyway, um, you can link to a specific package in Check Cherry. Um, so chat with us and we can show you how to do that. Um, if you like to put these packages on your website like that, um, this is going to the higher level of the booking engine, but here we go. And so, you know, um, I would probably have booth pricing, you know, and just send them, you know, right to the, did that, maybe that's what that did. That's just that, see, I clicked the actual link and it went to it, but then they have oh, the drop in. It's a little yeah. confusing, um, mm -hmm. you know, and I would probably, you know, if you, if you don't, if you only offer photo booths, I would just remove booth and just put pricing and just send them right to here, you know, where you can do that. That's probably how I'd go about it. What are your thoughts on that pop-up? I mean, it's just, I mean, I think. Yeah. I'm not a fan of, uh, aggressive. of the pop-ups. I think they get, um, they just make it hard to use. And I'd be curious how it works on mobile and things like that too, but it gets a little, uh, just kind of gets in the way. I like the footer, low, you know, icons in the footer, good. Mm -hmm. Way down here and you want to find me on social media and whatever, like that's all good. Um, but overall, a nice looking site. Yeah. You know, like I like it. Um, I don't know that I checked it out on mobile, but yeah, I like, the, I like the look and feel. It feels like higher end, if you will. Like I like it. Yeah. And it's got, you know, consistent brand and, you know, consistent. Mm -hmm. feel, so. yep. images, like I like all that. Yeah. So more again, call to actions, capture the moment. Like, I don't know what that means, right? So I'm here, the difference, and it's like capture the moment, but yeah, I don't- Comment, uh, welcome needs a capitalization, which um, I didn't catch it, but I, I believe, you know, probably that's true. And then uh, uh, Lanish says, pop-up should only be as you first get into the site in a one-time pop-up. Yeah, and, at yeah. most, you know. Mm -hmm. um, also, I like, I feel like this type of, uh, stuff is going to lead to more haggling if you do get somebody on the phone, just in general, because you're kind of leading with a discount, that type of thing. Um, so that's another thing. Okay, mm -hmm. got the next one. Uh, next one. So we've had a couple photo booths. I think this one is going to be, um, so acebeats.co.uk. And I think it's more of a uh, inter uh, DJ event, um, sound and lighting. Yep. So it's cool because like I, what I, so what I like is like, it's very clear, you know, sound and lighting, you know, um, they're at a wedding dancing, you know, it's just very consistent. The nav scene's very big and a lot of wasted space up here. Um, you know, and then this is on mobile. So, yeah. What is, why is there an app? I don't even know why I'm getting that. Um, in any case, um yeah i don't love the nav and here like the nav is just huge that type of thing so um let me go back to desktop but i think that nav is just way too big um let me refresh and so it looks like he wants to tout or or you know they want to tout um some winter stuff and like there's a brochure and like you kind of have uh, three call to actions and so again too much um i would just focus on one like what do, what is the one most important thing um, that you want them to do. If you have an award or something that's really important, download, like put it like as a section down here, you know, and highlight it. Um, it looks like book a chat is where it's at, right? And I think that that's, you know, um, one of the things that I would like think is, you know, remember everybody shopping for these services kind of doesn't really know um, anything. You know, it's pot, like, hey, it's the first time I'm getting married. Like, I don't know anything about uh, wedding DJs and what's involved in that stuff. And, Part of me would also think like, well, why do I need to book a chat? You know, so if you could maybe explain that a little bit more, you might get more success potentially. Um, and again, here it's like email, phone, you know, like kind of sending like the, the kitchen sink is out up here and it's just too much. Um, okay, so yeah, book a chat. Yeah, that nav is huge. Mm -hmm. um, so then here's the Calendly link. Um, by the way, we'd love to do a, an appointments feature at Check Cherry at some point that would probably fulfill this. Um, just hasn't made it to the top of the list. Um, call to actions are good. Like, I mean, at least there's buttons. I mean, I think just, does that take me to an email? Um, so how do I get back to my, I wasn't expecting that, frankly. Um, some people don't have email clients as well. So if you're using a mail to, um and gmail that might not work um so i would send them to a contact form or something like that or just show your email address um yeah so um not a lot of images you know on this site and a big nav 
um, on the homepage. There is a video. Um, it is a wedding. Like I do get that. Um, yeah. And then here's the C services. Real hard to read these, right? Like I can't read. I don't know what's going on there. So this would probably be a site that, you know, I think there's a lot of opportunity here to, you know, make it better again. Yeah. Less than the nav, maybe put these in the footer, put that in the footer, smaller logo, uh, maybe even hire a designer for a logo and not have an icon. That might be helpful, um, you know. And I guess there's that more of that urgency, right? Like, hey, I only got a few 20, 20 24 dates remaining. Um, and so I think that's a popular, I don't know, maybe some of the gurus in the industry that kind of tout that also possibly um, as well. Um, just not my style in terms of sailing. Um, cool. We got another one? Um, yeah, let's pull up. So next saying, on our list is... Uh, is there music playing on the site? Hold on. I, I don't know. I don't hear any music playing on the site. So I don't think so, but maybe. So we got bemorephotos.com next up. All right. Okay. So really clear what I'm, uh, you know, it's a photo booth. Like, that's cool. I like the big images. Like, that's kind of nice. You know, that's pretty cool. Um, the call to action is getting lost here. It's, you know, I would probably have a, you know, call to actions should really stick out. And so remember that site we had in that big old pink button? Like, you can't miss it. It's just crazy how big that is. And this is way more subtle, especially as the images change. Um, and generally, I'm not a fan of the images, like the carousel stuff like this. I mean, this actually isn't that bad because it's so big. Um, but, like, if you look, the logo and the the um, text is getting harder to read based on it. I wonder what it looks like on mobile. Better. Yeah. Well, see, yeah, I, I, would say yeah, I can't read that. The biggest problem is the the text is really hard to read. Yeah, uh, that's out. always a challenge with uh, you know. And again, book now, like view packages. Is it where does that send them to check Cherry? Yeah. So I think like view packages or view pricing or pricing is going to be like more people are going to click it to the same spot, basically. Um, and I think you can put book now, but I think it would be like lower on the site or after they've seen pricing if you show it something like that. Um, and yeah, I mean, here's your Google, like this is better. I don't know what, what he's using for this, but like, at least I know that there are Google reviews. It seems like it's pulling from Google. It seems more trustworthy. So that's cool. A lot of, a lot of people do the gallery stuff. Um, and I would minimize that. I don't know. I think if you just have a few great images of your stuff on your marketing website, they're going to get the impression that you do great work. Um, I don't know. It seems like too much information personally. Um, I do know that it's important to have galleries to send people to after their events and all that stuff, but um, I would minimize it as a sales tactic. Maybe it works really well. Um, a lot of text. Yeah. But I think, yeah, I mean, the the biggest thing is the nav area, right? I mean, clearly, um, you know, easy enough. Um, yeah. And then there's the services and stuff. Let's see where that takes me. So if I go to their 360 booth service, you know, book your booth online now. So again, sure. But again, multiple call to actions, right? Do you want me to call? Do you want me to do this? Um, and view 360 packages if I'm on the 360 page. View, th you know, or even like right here. I like the samples. Um, that's good. Um, the lighting does not look good here. Personally, I don't know if that's intentional but i'm not you know also worth mentioning like matt and i we've never run a photo booth company or dj or event services so we're not experts on that front but i would say that that the output doesn't look fabulous here um just my first thought um yeah any other thoughts matt uh no i don't think so um i like i do like faqs uh you know but not you know toward the yeah. bottom you know out of the way like if you're that far great um but yeah not too much on my end. Yeah. Uh, why don't we move to our next one? So we got whoops, uh, bougie events, and I think, I think I know who's that is. I think he's on the call. Okay. So, mm -hmm. um, 
two logos, right? And I'm on a different website already. So, I mean, obviously that's, <laughs> I think this is Robert. So I think he's going through a rebrand, which is not an easy thing, by the way. So I'm assuming that uh, Bougie is the new uh, brand. What I like is it's clear what they do here. Mm -hmm. DJ Services, MC, Innovative Photo Booth. There's the areas, love that. Call to action, um, let's get your party started. Um, I wouldn't necessarily click that. It doesn't, I don't know what that, like, where am I going, you know, with that? basically is what I would say. Uh, Instagram, I don't, you know, I don't love that. Again, you're going to lose, you're basically going to lose visitors is what I'm thinking. They're not going to come back. Um, so I guess this goes to a contact page uh, where there's another, I like, you know, I generally like like the call to action and the header and stuff. This is good because it just makes it easy. Like you're again, telling them where to go. Um, but I feel like I'm unnecessarily clicking links. I think maybe it could have went to the same place. Um, it's a nice video. The feel, I love the colors and the light blue. It feels mm -hmm. really nice. Um, the logo's great. Um, yeah, I like all this. Um, very. I think learn more is, it's tough because I, you know, I've used learn more and call to actions, but I also think it's kind of like, it's weak. Like I would, you know, maybe there's, um, I think the, probably the thought process to take is like, why do I want to click this button as a visitor? You know, like, Mm -hmm. why like, uh, why yeah like am i going to get images am i going to get more like am i going to see the experience am i going to see you know i think these pages probably do pretty well for uh for seo yeah um, that's he's got a good right. good seo domain um he's calling it temecula wedding D dj in the top like he should rank pretty high based on the content at least mm -hmm. um you know and if you're getting a lot of your leads that way and that's a big um big consideration with with any website stuff. I mean, you can have a website out there, but if nobody gets to it, it doesn't matter. So considering, you know, are you driving AdWord traffic? Do you need custom landing pages for your ad campaigns? Um, are you going for SEO traffic? Um, kind of considering the the source, I think is important. Great images here. Like I love this. Yeah. Like, I'm mm -hmm. jealous that we, like our images at Check Cherry, we don't have opportunities to do that type of stuff. You know, people having fun, kissing, wedding. I mean, like there's the reviews. Um, and so uh, Kyle says, uh, bougie is definitely pop culture slang that is in the moment. Is it going to ho hold up in five to 10 years or will you need another rebrand? So, uh, I mean, it's worth considering. I like that. <laughs> yep. I'm not aware of the trends. So, but mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, I think that that's says, really... uh, how about let's get started um, for the uh, for the call to action. Yeah. I mean, I think we're so back on uh, here. Yeah. I mean, I think, I don't know. I mean, I think just. I, I, let me think about this. So I'd be like, what, do you, like, what's, what, as a visitor, if I'm interested in your service, like, what am I getting out of it? I just get like real, put your customer hat on, you know, and like, let's get started with what, like, do you want to do? And so I think I saw somewhere, um, like I come here though. I don't know what I'm getting, like where I'm not getting started with anything. And I would say as a customer, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Right. Um, so, like, am I, like, do you want me to <laughs> schedule a call, uh, fill out a contact form, just book you? Um, so I see I'm, a lot of, yeah, I see, and I see a lot of contact as the call to action, then, right? I don't think it's very strong. There's a lot of other opportunities. Um, and I guess here we go, contact us. And so book a call with uh, Robert or Stephanie. Um, so there's a lead form. I think this is kind of back to like, there's a lot of options here, you know? Um, what, here's what I like about this though, is I kind of mm -hmm. like, they're, they're telling me like why I should book a call. So right. yep. I mentioned that earlier. I was like, well, why, why don't I need to book a call? Um, and so then here, um, it's not clear to me why I would book a call with one versus the other. Um, I don't know if it's my screen's too small. This seems like the uh, HTML or something's not quite sticking right or something's off there. Um, I love that there's a lot of links in the footer. I think that the footer, we do this a lot with Check Cherry. There's a ton of links. Um, it's And it's a good strategy. Um, and you'd be surprised at how many people spend time down on the footer looking for things. So I like that. I like this. This is great. This is great. Great places to put it. So I love this footer, uh, Robert. That's awesome. But yeah, why would I pick a call versus another? And You'll also notice another thing is just, I'm not reading anything and I don't think anybody's going to be reading much. That's the short of it, right? They're kind of just like, what do I do? I need this. I'm looking for information. There's just so much to read online. 
that we can't do it all. Um, so I go to photo booths, contact us, frequently asked questions. Yeah. And I think Robert does not do the online booking. So you don't have that. But I think like, you know, another and two call to actions again, like which one's more important. And I would say ditch the frequently, frequently asked questions um, and go towards more. Let's talk, uh, schedule a call, schedule a consultation. I do like the uh, kind of like get a free consultation type thing. Like they're going to get something like that would be cool. But we're trying. Um, yeah. Any other thoughts? Um, no, I think, um, yeah, I, I think my biggest thing is, um, you know, you, you want to make it just as easy as possible to drive the customer to the next step. And so if your customers are looking for information, you know, if, if they come to you and they don't know anything, um, maybe the goal is to educate them. If if your goal is to get them to schedule a call, um, whatever it is that that you find converts well, just really hammer, hammer at that a lot. Um, you know, have those, those call to actions, take them straight there and, you know, have, have, it's okay to have a, you know, the same call to action, you know, five times on a page if, if it's, you know, if it's what they, what you want them to do. And of course, you know, you can have phone numbers and other things. Um, but really, you know, like, like as a customer, let me know, like what the happy path is, I would say. Yep. One thing I do like here is that he does. So some customers will do this. They'll show their own packages and stuff. And there's good reason, right? Like you want mm -hmm. to match your site better. Um, he's got a book now called to action. And that does go right to the package um, on Check Cherry. So that's, I think that that's good. Um, Robert, consider adding like check availability. Cause I think it would be like a little lower commitment or view prices or something. Cause I think more people will click that. Again, like you're asking me to book, but I don't know the price. How can I be certain I want to book? Like, isn't that a really important piece? Um, so I think maybe walk it back just a little bit. Um, and then if you have, you know, on these options, you know, um, I think even instead of like ditch quick last question, even view packages that just drops them down to here would be a win or sends them right to check cherry. That would be another one to, to where they can see them all. But great, great feel though. I like the colors, you know, on that. Yeah, I really like the the typography. The, like something yeah. feels a little bit unique, a little bit different. Um, it's a nice site. I like it. And I would expect to pay more if I came to this guy. <laughs> Let's be clear. So a couple of comments from my rent, event rental company. Our tagline is come party with us. Um, and then I, I have a suggestion. The, the call to action book now could say check your date. Yeah. And, yeah. So else, this um, from Robert. Well, yeah. I know the thing is, Robert, I think yep. he's put a lot of work and thought into all this stuff. And so it, it shows. And I think it's also like, you know, you're never done. It's all, there's mm -hmm. always something you could do or tweak or whatever. And it's okay. And I think at the end of the day, what you have to really be focused on is are you getting the results you want? Um, you know, and are you kind of like, is there is there a way to optimize your sales experience, frankly, with the website? So let's, yeah, the pictures are great. There's a comment, the pictures are really nice and they are, and I'm pretty sure they're, uh, they're, they're, you know, they're not stock photos. I'm pretty sure those are uh, photos that yep. it's taken. So those are awesome. Um, so we'll move to our next one, uh, trueview-productions.com. Cool. Okay. So um, premium photo boost in the Midwest. Um, so that's good. The Midwest is pretty big. So I don't know what that means. Um, in my mind, but I guess as we look closer, um, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas. Wow. So um, I think he kind of means it. That's, in, mm -hmm. you know, so and that's part of it is, is, you know, you want to tell your customers, you know, where, where you uh, serve, but, but a lot of it, you know, are your customers going to be searching photo booth rental Midwest? And I don't know the answer to that, but I'm, I'm guessing it's probably a little more, uh, more specific. Yeah. Um, but you've got the you've got that information right below it, so I think. And you could have dedicated sure. pages for each region. Yep. I don't know. Yeah, so I think that's fine. And state might be big, but I don't. Maybe like in North Dakota, you know, that's that might be enough. You know, um, we have a pop up. This is the first one that has chat. Um, you know, and I think like obviously we use chat at Check Cherry. Um, most of the chats we get are on the customer service side. We do have it on our marketing site. We do get sales questions. Um, it's less common. Um, I don't love the pop out 
Um, we used to do that where we'd pop out. Remember people, and I liked that and people got annoyed with us, me specifically. They're like, how do I disable this? Like, it's driving me nuts. Um, and so, um, you know, I do think chat's helpful. Um, again, back to um, what you were saying about the phone number, like be sure you have the, I think he's using talk to, like be sure you have the app installed so that when you get a chat, you know, you, it comes to your phone and you can get back to them really soon. Um, and quick responses are going to result in, you know, better sales process and people closing that it's just going to make them feel better. Um, I would never search for answers on when hiring for a service like this. So I don't know what that does you anything. Um, something says unanswered. I don't know what that means, but, um, you know, the chat is there and, um, I'm also, I don't know. I don't love all the text here. It's just really, you know, it's taking up a lot of priority. Um, it was first thought, but okay. They do have a call to action book now. I think this could stick out more. Uh, it's a little hard to read. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't jump out. And like, this is jumping out the yellow mm -hmm. more so than that. And so I think maybe make that yellow or something like that would be fine. Again, we've talked about book now versus other ones um, and how book now is pretty forward. Um, this, you know, uh, now there's not a ton here. Uh, contact us again is um, used quite a bit in the top right. My guess is on mobile. You know, yeah. So then we got, so this is, you know, mm -hmm. um, cool. Like it, I can't, I don't, I, I, my guess is my, this, my guess is this shows up fine. It's just my view is 100%. So, um, yeah. So I think book now, like that's where you want me to go, you know, and that does send a check cherry. So, like, that's, you know, a good way to collect leads. Um, Glam photo, we've to learn more. I, Maybe what it is on something like this is like view experience or something like view pictures, or I don't know. <laughs> right. View, like, I don't know how to, I'm not quite mm -hmm. sure. Hey, I like view packages. So where's that? Does that send them? Um, let me uh, take this back off the desktop. So that sends them to a page on, yeah. And they have pricing and check availability. Um, just a reminder, you can drop people right into the packages. They're not, it's kind of, you know, it's surprising how uh, people don't realize that uh, or they get it wrong with the links. So chat with us and we can help you drop them right into the basic package or the gold package. Um, I understand why people put packages on their website like this. You know, it's certainly a way to kind of have more of a consistent feel. Um, I didn't even see this one lower. That's another, we, we experienced this on Check Cherry where like, if you have like 10 packages on the same page, it's like, it's really hard to make them a priority. You know, it's just tough. Um, I don't know what our packages and contact us. Like I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Yeah. Um, so we've got the text out of place. But again, I don't like, people are going to come. They're not going to like, do you offer what I'm looking for? I'm in a photo booth. Okay. Like, you know, that's a start, you know, um, Number one company, like I see, we see this quite a bit, right? This type of thing, like number one. And I don't know that that's like based on what, yeah, I don't think it's, you know, sticks really uh, that well personally. Um, yeah. Wait, like view images, view gallery. What do you think, Matt? Like, do you see what I'm saying? Like, I guess that's really what I want to know is like, what does it look like? What am I getting? Mm -hmm. You experience yeah. images? But... I'm not quite sure what the text is. So I've been really thinking yeah. about that. But yeah, a lot of learn more is, you know. There's reviews. I like that. Yeah. And so they're also breaking it up by wedding corporate party down here. Um, consider doing that up higher. Maybe they do. Let's see. Yeah. No. Yeah, they do. Right there. So that's good. Yeah. There's gallery packages. Yeah, it takes into packages. Yep. And I don't know. It's just just Zoom or or the the logo looks a little little blurry or a little off to me. Um, could just be Zoom, but um, yeah, maybe not. But um, it looks fine. I mean, I wouldn't. <laughs> gotcha. I don't know that Robert had a suggestion view experience on the on the buttons. Um, yeah, something yeah. like because I think that's what I, as a customer that's what I'm like like okay great bow booth I see it but like you know show me more. Maybe that's it. Show me more. Mm -hmm. Show me more. Okay. And then I want to come here and see kind of what it's about. 
And I think it's like text is really important, obviously, like and some people read, um, you know, but I want like pictures and images of what I'm getting. That's what's going to sell me, right? I come there, I'm like, wow, that looks amazing. Right. Okay, and how much? Right. And I think another thing, like, yeah. That, you know. So. Yeah, Kyle cool. says they don't read it anyway. And I think there's a lot of truth to that. You know, they're not going to read a lot of text. Um, people. You don't you read. <laughs> you want to see that, uh, you know, that, uh the company, you know, whoever you're doing business with, you want to trust them. Um, you know, you want to make sure that that they kind of speak to you. You know, if you're coming from uh, the corporate world, like the kind of website that's going to speak to you is going to be very different than if if your leads are coming from Instagram or something like that. And so it's important to talk to your audience and and make your audience feel like, you know, they're uh, they're at home, you know, when they're on, on your website. So. Yeah. Okay. And so Robert asks, uh, is there a perfect website that we can all emulate? And I would say no. absolutely not because every um, everybody has different customers. You know, everybody's in their own niche, in their own location. Um, what works for, for one person is going to be different, you know, and, and, you know, if somebody, you know, if you're really focusing on, again, like corporate clients, that's your website's going to be so different than, um, you know, if you're doing a gaming truck or something like that, it's just, you know, what's going to come across, across as like stodgy and boring to one person is going to feel safe and, and, you know, right. uh, able to another. So, um, so I don't think there is, I think it's, it's just about establishing your brand, reinforcing it and making sure you're consistent with it. Furthermore, there's a difference between a perfect website as a business owner and a perfect website as a website visitor. Right. And so those might have competing priorities. Right. So like I was a business owner, I want to maximize my lead collection. And as a visitor, like I just want to find out the information I want to know without having to give up personal information. Exactly. So that they're also ready for the next one. Yeah. Okay. So we'll do a, a DJ service, a noise DJ service. All okay. right. Okay. So we know it's a DJ. Um, we like that, right? Very clear, very obvious. Um, it's an image. It's simple. You know what I mean? Like I, I actually like, I don't mind simple. Um, mm -hmm. Just come from websites that had video up here. So it does like in contrast, right? That's another thing I didn't expect from this call. It was like in contrast, it seems like kind of static. Um, there's a pop-up. I have questions. No, thanks. Like that's okay. Um, Start your booking. Uh, now. You only have one chance to stand out. And I think this website does, it does look different than the ones we've, we've looked at before. So yeah. I think that's yeah. um, good. Mm -hmm. The um, start your booking now. I would say like this, there's a lot of purple in here already. And so maybe something that stands out more like a yellow with black text would really pop. Um, you know, that's fine. Um, check our rates. So again, like they, you know, hey, see what we're up to. So if I go there, Yep, they go to Check Cherry. Um, and I don't know, like, I think you could even just have view pricing or prices. And then furthermore, um, another thing that's interesting, there's not really a website nav in this, huh? And with the mobile I site. think it's a single page, yeah. Yeah. And so that's, I don't know, it's been a while now, but, you know, kind of the trend of having everything all on one page, um, you know, became popular five, maybe more years ago now, maybe 10 years ago. Um, but... Um, I've always kind of liked, you know, I, I'm old. I, I always kind of liked different pages, but um, <laughs> I know, uh, you know, a lot of people prefer, you know, just that all you're going to do is scroll anyway. And so there's no need to have a bunch of different pages. Just put everything right there and, and you kind of scroll down and it's, you know, it, um, <clears throat> it's, I think uh, the, the, the website angle of, you know, like the SEO angle of single page to me doesn't sound that great. Like it seems like you're limiting yourself. That being said, like maybe not a lot of your business comes from there and it's really mm -hmm. about establishing, you know, Hey, like I'm a professional company, like you can trust me and they've come to you through other means. Um, and it kind of lets you focus on just the story you're telling with, with that page. And, you know, you don't need to worry that somebody's going to be off on a different page, you know, and you can really optimize that one page. So. Um, it's worth, you know, definitely worth considering what you want to go for, you know, more pages or less and, 
And uh, of course, more pages are going to just be more work too. So, yeah. And he's got video. I mean, I, I do like video. I think that that is definitely, um, you know, where to go. Um, I would also suggest, it seems like what's happening, and I've thought about doing this even on Check Cherry, that we have like more vertical, you know, or uh, yeah, vertical style videos that are really short um, on the marketing side. So I think even like a super short, um, you know, vertical as opposed to the horizontal might get more people clicking and watching type stuff. Um, just a comment. Um, where is this? Let me close this out. But I like video. I do. That's good. People watch it. Um, yeah. And I think he's got, we kind of do this with check cherry, right? You've got, you kind of like your categories. I click on it. Yeah. And he's sending them over there. Um, there's your calendar picker. So again, it's kind of like, you know, well, we could like, let's collect. If you don't like that, how about this, Mr. Customer? If you don't like that, how about this? You know, and I just think view pricing, view packages is going to be enough. Okay, how many required fields? So there's a lot of required fields here, you know, so that's not great. Um, book a virtual appointment. Yeah. And I guess that's another thing with the single page apps that's not as good as like you just kind of, you're just stacking, stacking, stacking. Yeah. So now that gets hard. It's hard to bring the virtual appointment up here. <laughs> You know, and you might be able to do it like with some buttons, like maybe you have like a yellow one and then there's a few other ones like, book, you know, book a consultation and, you know, that type of thing. I think the one thing that this site, what I, what I think of this is that it's pretty simple and I don't necessarily, and it feels decent. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Like it doesn't feel, you know, and I would just say, yeah, like call to action stuff, you know, nobody's going to read this. There's probably an opportunity here. Your videos, I like this. Any thoughts? Um, yeah, I think it's you know, I, I think it's decent. Um, I think it's good. Um, it's probably not gonna sell a ton of weddings. I think it's kind of more, you know, other types of events. I think it's gonna be a good fit for. Um <laughs> and so again, I think it just goes to you know what what your audience is and, and making sure you uh you know, and so like what so why not sell a bunch of like what is it because this is not an image of a wedding i think it's uh look and feel but but more than that i think um you know with the wedding you're kind of you're you're looking for a little bit more hands-on um you know and i think there are kind of signals with you know telling you know a little more information a little more content about how you know how the wedding will go or the process you know, right yeah you know, the process um, you know, knowing that everything's going to be kind of handheld and, and outlined, you know, so what, I think. what kind of vibe does this give you like party? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like more of a, yeah. Yeah. That's good. Man. That's good. Not, I don't, you know, it's not stuffy for, you know, it's not, uh, you know, school events, clubs, birthdays, you know, concert, private events. Sure. These could all be pages, obviously with the mm -hmm. appropriate. Yeah. With, you know, with the appropriate images to make you feel, you know, wow, they do what I do. Yeah. Um, okay. And then uh, comment. I like it. It's got a good vibe. The logo is hard to read. And, yep. and I, it's uh, something about it, at least through the Zoom, is a little, a little hard to read for me, too. Oh, cool. This is uh, DJ Soup's on the call. So we book more schools and weddings. Weddings have a higher cost for us DJs. We do a lot of corporate, too, and they seem to respond. And and yeah yep yeah but a, yeah. a, a pretty simple site that's going to establish mm -hmm. you know you as you know like this this doesn't turn me off even if i was coming here to hire somebody like it's like it's not yep. i think it's nice yeah simple okay ready for next mm -hmm. got trendysnaps.com right. you know they were, they've been working on it recently so it should be cool but then, like, yeah. I, Again, like I feel like websites are always a work in progress. Yep. Like the stuff I hate about Chuck Cherry's website, and I still haven't changed stuff. I mean, it's like it is just it's just part of the game. Yep. Never done. So it's taking a long time to load is the first thing I know. I don't know if that's um me or what. Um came up good for me, but okay. Um could have just been whatever, but okay. So here we go. Uh, so a couple of first thoughts that there is a lot in the navigation up here. Um also, the far right is your most valuable real estate, and this is dedicated towards managing a booking, which is you've already made the sale. You know what I mean? I think um, finding another spot for that yeah, is probably 
better, um, you know, um, book down, like that, you know, we've talked about that. Where does that go? And uh, they haven't integrated that one yet, uh, yeah. Brian says. And they so I would send that to where they can, you know, uh, get it done. And again, I think pricing or packages is really, really effective. More people are going to click it. Contact us can probably go down to the footer. Um, and then what is that? Yeah. And I think like when you're, when you're on a contact us page, I think this is appropriate. You want to email me? Fine. You want to text me? Fine. You know, you want to become this? Fine. I don't care. Like that's fine. It's a contact us page. It's kind of like a dead end. Um, now I'm, I'm clicking around the hover versus the click. Um, yeah. So backdrops, footed templates, we have customers that want to you know, show backdrops and stuff like that. So it looks like this is the widget. Um, people have asked for that type of thing. Um, and I don't know that me as a customer, I'm, I guess I'm just assuming that I'll be able to find a backdrop. I guess I don't even know, you know, I'm just assuming that that's not going to be a problem. Um, but you know, maybe, um, and then the templates, um, so they're using some of the widgets. That's cool. Um, experiences, overview, red carpet. You know, let me go back to the homepage because I feel like I'm getting in the weeds there. So a call to action right here would be awesome. You know, view packages, whatever it may be. Um, the roaming photo booth, cool. Um, what are your thoughts on the movement there? I'm not a fan of movement, but I don't think it's bad. I mean, I think that's that's not off putting to me. I, I think it's you know. I'm I'm agree. It's it's a little distracting. Um, yeah. See, because like I'm scrolling and I want to read, and it's moving the text <laughs> away for some reason, and I don't understand the purpose of why. Does that make sense? It's not like uncovering something else. It's just pushing it out. It's like making like is it yeah. Um, this is kind of cool. We haven't seen these. We thought about adding something like this to check cherry even. Um, so I like mm -hmm. this kind of like, Hey, we've been around the block. Um, so yeah. I actually like this. I, there's a lot of great, uh, spacing. I think the, the logo and the site overall feels professional. Um, so I like that. Um, yeah. Call to actions, like make it real. Like, what do you want me to do? The one thing, um, Yeah, more see more you see this more like it's just mm -hmm. more motion that's probably unnecessary. Yeah. Yeah. See, like I gotta stop. Um and so there's a lot of locations here, it looks like too. Um and I don't know, it's it's fascinating because like I guess the analogy I would use it's like sometimes you go to a restaurant and they serve all the food. You know what I mean? And it's like every type of cuisine, but like it, you, you end up watering down your message, I guess. And so um, you might have like a locations link and then like a page that has this, but I would, you know, to me, that's a lot of locations. And I don't know the area and that might, they might also be really close. And if they are, maybe even a page dedicated to West Monroe photo booth is going to be um, where you want to be. Um, I like that. I do like the, like the logo on the left again, you know, these links, that's great. Like, I almost feel like the, the contact us is not neat necessary because you could just do this, you know? Yeah, I feel like uh, there's, so I, yeah, I'm not a fan of the the rotation in particular. Um, I feel like there's too many nav items. Um, uh, mm -hmm. DJ uh, Soup says, uh, I found more success with one page websites with with the uh, the inline links that you scroll down so that folks do not get too deep in the rabbit hole although multi-page sites allow for more interrelated content. And um, yeah, I think it's, uh, you know, the, the more pages you have, the more, you know, just kind of the more for your customers to go through, the more chance that, you know, they come across something that didn't quite work or a link that broke or, you mm -hmm. know, a package link that you didn't, didn't, don't have going to the right place. So, um, so yeah. And then there's another comment, um, uh, I don't like the tint box over the photos. If I don't scroll over it, I'm supposed to think that's your best work. I would lose that. Um, the what box? I didn't follow that. The tint box over the photos. Oh, got it. That, so in other words, that in order to show the white text, they put a darker layer over it. And, and he's assuming, yeah, that's interesting. Didn't even think of that. 
Yeah, I think uh yeah. Whereas like you yeah, you could just have you could just have the nav like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or like uh like on this photo, I think like if you go down a little bit, that fun on the new photo. Yeah. Um, is, so it's um, a cool photo. Great, though. That's yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it I, does take a little bit away if by being tinted, I think. You know, I think also like um it would be really cool if that was just a video of it or somehow like a short video that showed me that it would move because it's not clear. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, yeah, that's smart. And you can do, you know, you can do inline video now that's not mm -hmm. not a YouTube thing that's, you know, that'll just even like an animated GIF, but right. uh, and, and that can look nice to kind of get a little bit of that moment or of that movement um, as well. I think Especially it's fun. Like the we got two minutes left, Matt. Two minutes. So now. hopefully that was helpful to people. I guess. Uh -huh. there. Um, and get back here it's just kind of off the top of our heads I mean that's not like I say Matt and I we built websites for a long time we see a lot of websites um, you know by by no means are we you know the end all be all um, but just some stuff I think off the top of our heads so hopefully people like that um, if you did like it like let us know we can do this again uh, you know in a few months other things we could do is like we could like review like a booking you know somebody's check cherry booking engine right as they're going through in the packages like that would be cool um, if you ever have suggestions for a webinar, um, let us know um, and we can kind of go from there and we appreciate everybody showing up. Um, we'll send out a recording. Um, if there's ever something you don't like about it, you can also hit us up and let us know. Our skin's thick. We like uh, <laughs> back. It's okay. Um, but we appreciate everybody for showing up. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, that was a lot of fun. So thanks, Judd, for, uh, for leading that. And yep. and. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Thanks, guys. Have a good night. Much. We'll see you in two weeks. Well, we'll send out an email with the, uh, the next webinar topic. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Bye.